Power My Analytics offers a fast and simple way to integrate your reports with Microsoft Excel using our spreadsheet add-on. Excel is a great choice for accessing and exporting your raw data in a tabular format. Instead of a chart-based presentation like Looker Studio, it also gives you more options for building your data. You can use Excel calculations like reporting month-over-month -month growth, and unlike Looker Studio, you can actually blend more than five data sources. And you can use your Excel report as a data source for other destinations like Looker Studio. Excel is a flexible option for working with your report data, and PMA makes it a breeze to set up, so let's get started. Before getting started, make sure your PMA subscription includes the spreadsheet add-on. If you have a pro or enterprise plan, the spreadsheet add-on is already included. Otherwise, you can add it to your single or business plan for just $49.95 a month. Next, open Microsoft Excel. You can use the desktop version of Excel, or you can use the online version of Excel with Microsoft 365. The spreadsheet add-on will work just the same for both versions, but if you're using the Excel on desktop, you'll also need to provide your API key from your PMA hub. In this example, we'll use the desktop version. So first create a new workbook, and then go to the home menu, and then click on the add-ins icon, and then select get add-ins at the bottom of the menu. And then make sure you select the store tab in the office add-ins window. Then click on the search box and type in Power My Analytics, and then press enter. Find the Power My Analytics add-in button, and then click the add button, and then click continue to agree. The Excel data connector sidebar should appear on the right side of your workbook. And if you're on the desktop version of Excel, the sidebar will have a field at the top for you to enter your Power My Analytics API key. To find your API key, go to your hub at hub.powermyanalytics.com. Keep in mind that if you're not on the enterprise plan, you'll need to contact Power My Analytics to obtain the copy of your API key. If you're subscribed on the enterprise plan, go to the API section under Exports and copy the key under your user API key and paste it into the field. Your Excel data connector is ready to use. You can also access the add-on at any time by going to the home menu and then clicking on the data connector in the commands group. Now it's time to make your first report. You can set up and manage all your Excel reports from the data connector sidebar. First click on the blue plus icon and select add report. Under connector, choose the data connector you want to use. In this example, we'll use Facebook ads. Then go to data account under Power My Analytics Hub and then choose the name of your hub. Then go to account and select the account you want to use as a data source. In this example, we use sample account to use random sample data. Next, you can configure the options for your data source. In this example, we'll leave the options blank for the sample data, then click set config. Next, click on choose date range and select the date range to use for your data. You can pick a custom start date and end date or use another option like last seven days. Then click set range. Now it's time to pick the fields you want to report. Under fields, you can choose the view metrics, dimensions, or both. Click on select fields and start typing a name to start matching fields. Or you can scroll down to find any of the other fields. For example, we might select date, campaign name, outbound clicks to show the daily outbound clicks for each campaign over the past week. Then click set fields. Next, you can set up a filter if you want to apply comparison operators to your fields, like greater than, less than, or equal to, in order to include or exclude data. You can actually add more than one filter also. Click on the blue plus icon to add a filter condition. Otherwise, you can click set filter to continue. Under options, click on order by and select the field you want to sort by. And you can choose whether if you want to sort this field in ascending or descending order. In this example, we'll use date in ascending order. If you want to limit the number of rows to turn, you can set a limit for a lower number. Otherwise, you can set the limit to a million for practically unlimited number of rows. When you're finished choosing your options, give your report a unique name in the report name field and then click the create report button. And remember, you can go back at any time to edit these settings and change the fields in the report and other options. Your data will be loaded into the Excel sheet and your report will appear in the data connector sidebar under reports. Just like that, your data is ready to use. To manage your reports, click on the three dots next to a report and then you can click edit, duplicate, or delete the report from here or click the summary view to view the details of your report. Unlike PMA's add-on for Google Sheets, the Excel data connector is not able to perform automatic or scheduled refreshes of a report's data. To load the most recent data of your report, you can click on the three dots next to your report and then select refresh. If you want to refresh all your PMA reports in Excel at once, click on the blue refresh icon at the top of the sidebar. 
Karma Analytics Spreadsheet add-on makes it easy to report your data in Excel, whether if you're on desktop or online. You can start your free 14-day trial with Power My Analytics today and create your Excel reports in just a few minutes. If you have any questions on our Excel add-on or learn more about your reporting data with PMA's connectors, just go to support.powermyanalytics.com. And we'll catch you next time.